Okay, so we have a MacBook here that we received. Uh, that um, has the. Let me see if I can't get it open. Has the uh, Nvidia chipset problem. So what we're going to do is take this board out. Uh, it's been partially disassembled already. So we have the uh, torque screws that we need to finalize taking out and reflow uh, this board. What we see here is the uh, memories here for the uh, VRAM. So we're going to have to reflow here and then on the other side. But um, we have no uh, way of engaging this system uh, the way it is right here to turn it on so hopefully there'll be points on the bottom to uh, trigger it which is a bypass trigger that's what they call that so once we get this board out we'll be able to check that and see what's going on so that's what we're going to do right here uh, in a few minutes okay so what we notice here is that we have our uh, logic board out and as we can tell, that appears to be an NVIDIA processor. We'll zoom in just a little bit. And uh, what we see is that it is an NVIDIA processor. So what we're going to do is take and clean these chipsets up. And then we're going to take and reflow uh, this chipset, this chipset, and this chipset. This is our processor. It doesn't need to be reflowed, uh, but we'll reflow these, and then we're going to check for any fuses on the board uh, that may be associated with the black, uh, the backlight, and we're going to uh, check those to see if they're uh, damaged in any way. So that's what we're going to do here next. So right before our uh, reflow, uh, we notice one thing about our um, power here if you can't see it when we put our shadow over it we have a uh, let's see if we can't get some contrast here we have a blinking of the adapter So, our adapter is saying they're blinking orange or amber. So, what we're going to do is, uh, most likely that has something to do with the uh, reflow. Maybe it doesn't. Um, but uh, we're just going to uh, follow up with this reflow and see what happens as far as that's concerned. Alright, so now we have our system put back together like we uh, took it apart. Oh, we need to hook the video cable on here. Must have forgotten that. Um, pretty simple. Just plug it in. Uh, there's your video cable in. I'll just zoom up on that. There we go. It's plugged in. And now, since we've uh, taken and uh, reflowed the system, we see that we have a green light. So, we're going to do what we believe is the, uh, what is called a keyboard bypass. It's a bypass power, power switch. And uh, it's located right here. So, pretty much what you do is you bridge the two uh, pads right there while it's plugged in do like that and uh, short it on which we don't see it uh, turning anything on we don't see any fans uh, we do not see anything in normal situation this is only a guesstimation we don't know if that's actually the keyboard bypass if that actually turns it on or not uh, we don't know if there's even a keyboard bypass on this system. Uh, unibodies have them. Uh, some of the newer MacBooks have them. 
MacBook Pros. Not fairly certain uh, that this is uh, a bypass, but we're going to say indicative that we went from an orange to a green light and the system is all together. We're going to say that uh, we do have a base improvement, improvement that uh, the video changed uh, and that something in the system actually changed and worked for the better because uh, you know we actually have a change in condition hence the amber to the green light so we're going to say that this one's complete and done uh, even though we can't get it turned on so we're going to finalize it and put everything back together and uh, get in the box to get it out that'll be that with this one